administering medication through gastrostomy tube via syringe. Things to consider. Be sure to take steps to ensure patient privacy when performing the procedure. The most significant risk with giving liquids via a gastrostomy tube is possible aspiration into the lungs. Be sure the student is positioned properly, with head elevated at least 30 degrees. Encourage the student to assist in the procedure as much as he or she is able to help the student learn self-care skills. Procedure for Medication Administration Check for authorization forms or record. Review the medication administration form, the medical provider form, and the parent or guardian consent form. Check for the five rights. Right student, correct time. The medicine container matches authorization forms and medication administration record. The dose on medication container matches authorization form and records. The medication is in the correct route as identified on medication container, authorization forms, and medication record. Ensure that the medication has not expired. Explain the procedure to the student at his or her level of understanding. Wash hands. Gather equipment and place on a clean surface. Position child either sitting or supine with head up at least 30 degrees. The most significant risk with giving liquids via a gastrostomy tube is possible aspiration into the lungs. Be sure the student is positioned properly with head elevated at least 30 degrees. Put on gloves. Put a towel or washcloth under the student's gastrostomy tube. Observe abdomen for signs of malposition or obstruction of gastrostomy tube, such as difference in external tube length compared to baseline measurements or abdominal distension. Compare external tube length to tube length measurements obtained after initial placement of the tube. Contact parents or guardian and healthcare provider if there is a discrepancy in measurements. If student has abdominal distension, do not administer the medication. Instead, Contact parent or guardian and healthcare provider. Measure the medication and water in a separate measuring device, such as a cup. Draw up medication in syringe. Fill the extension tubing with water using a syringe with at least 5 cc or milliliters of water. Open port on the gastrostomy access port. Attach the extension tube filled with water to the access port. Open medication port on the extension tube and insert syringe with medication. Slowly push the plunger into barrel of syringe, instilling all the medication into the tube. Close clamp extension tube. Detach the syringe from the extension tubing. Draw up prescribed water into syringe and insert into the extension tubing. Open clamp. Gently and slowly push the water into tubing until all water has gone into the tube. Reclamp extension tubing. Detach syringe and cap access port. Remove extension tubing and replace plug on gastrostomy tube. Secure medication. Wash syringe and extension tubing with soap and warm water and put in home container. Check with your school nurse about the length of time to reuse any of the equipment. Remove gloves. Wash hands. Document medication administration on medication administration record. Follow up with parents or guardian and healthcare provider as needed.